Wear the man in the t-shirt, not the man in the suit. So before I met Mark, I mean, the guy was worth at the time three, four billion. He's worth what, six billion now? I thought he would come in and, you know, better dressed. He came in wearing a t-shirt, jeans. So I'm sitting down with Mark one day and I say, Mark, with all due respect, why do you dress like a slob? Mark looks at me and he says, Robert, because I can. I didn't quite get it at the time, but over the years, I've realized Mark is never the one selling. Every room he goes into, people are selling him. Here's what I've learned over 16 years. If you walk into a room and there's 20 people sitting there and 20 of them wearing a suit and tie, and there's one person in the back of the room wearing a t-shirt, that's the one with the power. Because that person worked their ass off to get to a position to wear whatever they want to wear. These are facts, y'all. These are big facts. And I'm gonna tell y'all from my personal experience, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I was one of them guys. I was one of them guys with the suit with the suit on. I remember when I first got into real estate and I started my contracting company, I ain't really had no money. I really didn't have no money. Like I had just enough just to make, you know, get my stuff up and going. I had just enough. I remember I went and bought a Range Rover. I went and bought um, a Rolex. I went and bought some Cardis. And I bought a lineup of suits. And every day I throw my Cardis on, throw my Rolex on, throw my suits on, jump in my Range Rover, and I'd be pulling up to my, I had like one or two houses at the time. And I, and they was getting fixed on, renovated. And I'd pull up jumping out like I was bad. You know, like I was up, like I had it like that. And the fact of the matter is, I really did not have it. You know what I'm saying? I really didn't. Like, I spent my last on trying to get this stuff going. But, you know, I was moving and shaking and buying stuff and wearing suits. Like, I was up like that. And I was really capping. And what made me um, change and what made me realize that I was doing, like, I was just overcompensating, it was two things. One, experience. When you start being in something for a while and you start getting the real money, you know, naturally, you know, it just started to kind of like, you start getting used to it. You realize like, man, you ain't gonna do all that. And two is the people who were buying my properties, the people who I was buying their properties, they was always low key. You know what I mean? I ain't never bought a property from someone who was flashy. I never bought a property from someone who came in full suit, you know, watch on and all that. I never sold a property to someone who walked in, in a title company with a full suit on, watch on, none of that. Everybody who I ever bought my properties from, they were just like regular low-key people who have way more money, way more assets than I did. And everybody who I ever sold my property to were the same type of people. People who are was in the game, had assets, they was low-key, t-shirt, regular, ball cap, you know, like look like you wouldn't even know they really up. But they all was up and they all had more than me because, and I know this because you, you conversate with them. You know, you had conversations with them. You see what you figured, you, you realize what people went to. So I realized, I'm like, man, you know what? You know, I'm moving wrong. Why, why I'm the only one, me and the agent, we the only ones in the office that's just super flat. You know, you know, the agents are going to be super flat. We in the, why, why, why am I been here, you know, trying to show them or trying to boast like I got it like that? Why am I doing that? So once you really start getting it and you're getting your groove and, you know, things is really going smooth for you, you really, you, you cut all that out. You know, you be like, man, you ain't got to do all that because now you solidify. You know, you get, you get comfortable, I would say. You just get comfortable. You get solidified. You get comfortable. You like, you know, people know what it is. If they don't, that's on them. You know what I mean? But when you get comfortable in your own skin and you ain't overcompensating and you ain't and you don't have to project no more because now you got it. See, at first I had to project because I didn't want people to know I ain't have it. You know what I mean? But now I can dress down t-shirt, hoodies every day. And y'all see how I be. I can do that every day now and feel comfortable because I'm like, can't nobody call my bluff. Can't nobody, you know what I mean? You can't, I'm all right. You know what I mean? I'm good. So this is facts, y'all. Facts, man.